Overall, the Spark is a quality built, user friendly drone at a fair price point. But there was one issue I could not ignore. As I mentioned in the last video, I wasn't able to get my iPad Mini 4 to fit the Spark's controller without feeling like I was going to break something every time I tried. Of course, I found out about it after buying the iPad. And uh, the truth is, not everyone will have this problem. But the simple explanation for it ultimately depends on the person making the molds. Some controllers will have a higher notch on the side which allows the hinges to open wide enough to fit a tablet while others are shorter. So if you're one of the unlucky people that got what I would call a bad controller, I'm going to show you how to safely modify it so you'll be able to use an iPad mini as your eyes in the sky. For this project, the only tools I'm going to use is a cordless drill with a step bit. Yes, this is an expensive controller, and if you're worried about using power tools to modify it, don't be. Because you'll see at the end how a simple alteration made all the difference. I'll be shaving away some plastic so the arms will be able to open wider. I wrap the sides of the controller in painter's tape not only to protect it in case I slip, but I can also use it as a guideline. You only need to use the tip of the drill bit. Anything more and you'll risk damaging the controller. The most important part of this process is making sure the drill stays in place. I found it easiest to let the drill rest on the table at a 45 degree angle and use my other hand to move the controller. You could try using a standard drill bit, but just a heads up, it's going to take forever. At times, you may need to apply some pressure to help it dig into the plastic, but for the most part, I let the drill do the bulk of the work. And last, smooth out the edges with sandpaper. So after removing that little bit of plastic, the iPad mini fits perfectly and without adding unnecessary stress to the controller. Originally, I was not happy about buying another iPad just for flying, but now that I've had several hours of airtime, I'm glad I went ahead and got this set up because it really does bring the fun factor up to a 10. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you'd like to see my other drone videos, those links will be in the description.